Hi, I'm Maddie Alder, and today I'm talking about con- marginal benefit and consumer surplus. Let's start by talking about marginal benefit, wh- but that sounds complex, so let's talk about ice cream instead. Say it's a super hot and sunny day outside, and after spending the whole day in the sun, all I want is a nice ice cream cone. I'd pay almost anything for it because it has immense value to me. To get a number, let's say I would pay $6 for this ice cream cone regardless of the actual price. This reflects the value it has to me. So, it would bring me about $6 of satisfaction. Now, let's say I have another ice cream cone. This time, it brings me less satisfaction as I am less hungry than the first time. This ice cream cone is worth only $5 to me. The satisfaction it brings me is lower than the first time. Now, let's say I have another ice cream cone. This time, my satisfaction is even less as I am less hungry and the ice cream cone is less valuable to me. So, that's reflected in the price I'd pay for it. This time, I would only pay $4 for the ice cream cone. Now, let's say I have one last ice cream cone. After eating three whole cones, I'm quite full, and this ice cream cone brings me even less satisfaction, much less than the first. This time, I would only pay $3 for it, which shows the decrease in satisfaction it brings me. So, what does this have to do with marginal benefit? Well, marginal benefit is the satisfaction a person gets from consuming one additional good or service. In the ice cream cone example, you can see that as my consumption increased, the satisfaction that ice cream brought me decreased. This shows the law of diminishing marginal utility, which means as you increase consumption of a product, the marginal utility decreases, and marginal utility is the satisfaction you get from each product. Now let's talk about consumer surplus, which is the difference between what I'm willing to pay for something and what I actually have to pay. Let's say the ice cream cone actually cost only $3, but I was originally willing to pay $6. So we take what I was willing to pay minus the actual cost and get my consumer surplus. If we look at each example of the ice cream cones, you see that the amount I was willing to pay decreased, and so my consumer surplus decreased to zero. When consumer surplus is zero, it means I have no preference between eating an ice cream cone or not. And when my consumer surplus is positive, it means I will continue to buy the product. On a graph, we see this in the area between the what I was willing to pay and the actual cost. So above the line of the actual price is $3 um, and what I was willing to pay. You add up the area of of the shaded region and you get the total consumer surplus, in this case $6. In review, consumer surplus is the difference between what I'm willing to pay and what I actually have to pay, and marginal benefit is the satisfaction I get from consuming one additional good or service. That's all. Thanks for watching.